My name is Mike Rayner and I am with eWrench.com. This video is about how to create a virtual machine in which you will install Ubuntu Server in. By default, VirtualBox keeps virtual machines private to each user. If you want to have all users on the host operating system have access to a virtual machine, you will have to change this preference. To do this, click on File, Preferences, and change the default directory where the virtual machines are stored. In this case, I will change the default directory to allow all users on the Windows host operating system to be able to gain, gain access to this virtual machine, but this is not necessary to do so. In this case, we're going to click on Other, Computer, Local Disk, C, Users, Public, public VMs which is a folder that I've created and click OK and then again click OK now this will allow all users to access your virtual machine or virtual server that you're creating but it's not necessary that you do this now to create a new virtual machine we click on new and use the wizard welcome to new virtual machine wizard click on next in this case, we're going to give it a name, Ubuntu LAMP 01 Linux Ubuntu Operations Linux and Versions Ubuntu. Click on Next. We're going to use the default RAM, 512 megabytes. RAM is random access memory. Click on Next. We're going to use the uh, startup disk and create a new hard disk default here. Click Next. We're going to use default VDI virtual disk image. Click Next. And we're going to allow it to be dynamically allocated. But this means that if all the files on your virtual hard disk take up 3 gigabytes of space, they will only take up 3 gigabytes of space of, on your hard drive. If you add more files, then it will grow to however many files that you uh, install on your hard drive. We we'll click up next. In this case, it says eight gigabytes. This is really not enough for a uh, uh, server because you may want to put some additional files on. In this case, I'm going to put change the size to 20 gigabytes. Now, this will not take up 20 gigabytes of space on your hard drive because it's dynamically allocated. Click on next, create, create. Now there, this is your virtual machine. It's already created. It's ready to, uh, it needs one more thing before you can install an operating system on it. That is, you go to storage, click on your IDE controller, where it's your DVD drive, and then we're going to have it point to where you've downloaded your Ubuntu server ISO file. Choose a virtual CDC. In this case, it goes to Downloads, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Server 10.4 32-bit, which is what we've chosen for this, and simply click Open. I'll click OK. At this point, all you have to do is click on Start, and you will start loading Ubuntu Server onto your virtual hard disk. That will take place on the next video. Thank you.